In this ROM hacking tutorial, we're going to be going over how to change level up learn sets in Black 2 and White 2. So if you're making your own ROM hack and you need to learn how to do that, stick around. I'm going to be going over it in gross detail. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the NARC that holds the learn sets. So if you haven't watched my other videos, every piece of data for a ROM is stored in different sections of the ROM called NARCs, and those hold pieces of information that correspond to different parts of the game. So the first thing we're going to do is go to Tink. Tink allows us to get individual files from our ROM, so we're going to open up our ROM we've been working on in our tutorial, so Black 2 edited trainers and moves, personal and evolutions. Uh, so this opens up this little box right here, and we're going to grab the learn set NARC. So if you need to know which NARCs are what, I have linked in the description of this video uh, not only all of the tools I use, but also this NARC list. So level up movesets are 0, 1, 8, so A, 0, 1, 8. We're going to extract this, and we're going to make a new folder that is uh, called learn sets learn sets. It's good to make different folders as you do this because uh, you're going to be editing these iteratively as you want to change them and it's good to have backups. So we're going to call this learn sets.narc. We're going to save that. We can close out of Tink now and we're going to go back into our tutorial folder and it says learn set editor and narc 018. So it's a little memo just to remember which narc it is. Um, let's click on end T and this is a this is called the Andy Toolkit. What we're going to do with this is go f uh, to Tools, and we're going to go to Move Set Editor. So it'll bring up this, and we're going to open our uh, NARC we just extracted. So in our Learn Sets, we're going to go Learn Sets .narc, and it'll open it up. And if we click on something like Bulbasaur, it'll come up with all of the moves it has. Uh, so this is pretty nice. We can. Uh, check what level they're going to learn it and what move they're learning. And they're really easy to edit. And the editor comes up pretty small. What you'll want to do is enlarge it just a little bit, and then you'll see that you can edit the actual move. So if we want to change a move like tackle right here, we click on tackle or leech seed or whatever, and then we drop down this menu right here, and we can scroll through all the list of moves, uh, or we can just type it in. So if we want to go with something like judgment, uh, we just type it in and click it. Um, if you want to add a new move, just click add and then adds one at the bottom and then we can just edit it to be maybe like frenzy plant or something. Whenever you're done with this, hit save as and this will save the NARC file. So this is the reason why we made a folder. So the learn sets will be called this uh, learn sets, call it maybe learn sets 2.narc, hit save. And if we go back to our tutorial, we can see that we have this learn set file here. So the next thing to do is close out of the toolkit and open up Tink again. You'll notice that we use Tink quite a lot in uh, this tutorial and all of my tutorials because it's necessary for moving narcs around. So we're gonna open up our ROM that we want to put this on and go to A01, Eight, and then change this file to the learn set narc that we just changed. So learn set 2, we open that, and we can just hit the save ROM um, and save it as same thing, but maybe call it uh, learn sets. So you can do whatever name you want, however you want to organize your narcs, just hit save. And that's all there really is to it. You can go through all the Pokemon and change their learn sets. Uh, that's super simple, and I hope you found this helpful. If you did, uh, please leave a like, and if you're interested in more content like this, uh, please drop a subscribe. I'll be doing a lot more tutorials, and if you're looking for things like trainers, I already have those on my page. So things like trainers and overworld edits, I've already covered those, and I'm going to be covering uh, Pokemarts next, so stick around for that. Thank you.